Well, hello and good evening everyone on this Lord's Day evening. My prayer is that you will have had a good and a happy day in fellowship and in worship and in praise. And this evening I'm going to just direct your attention for a few moments to the second epistle of Timothy and there the instruction that was given to Timothy was this hold fast the form of sound words which you have heard in me in faith and in love which is in Christ Jesus hold fast the form of sound words how necessary how vital it is that we should hold to the truth we're told in the scripture buy the truth and sell it not hold on to the truth because the word of god is truth the word of god is true for god is the god of truth and it's important indeed it is vital that we pass the truth on from one generation to the next that they might be built up that they might be strengthened that they might be followers of us as we are followers of the lord jesus christ and so my prayer tonight for us all and for the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, that in these days when so much is watered down, so much of man's word seems to hold sway, that we might stand first and foremost and upon the word of God, because we are told that the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto us. The gospel is good news. It tells us of a Saviour's love who came to set us free. It tells us of the Saviour Son, the Lord Jesus, who lived and died for me. And so this is what we have to continue to do. We're told, aren't we, in that great commission to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every preacher. And the gospel is good news indeed to guilty sinners in distress. It tells them of a, tells them of a hope, of a way made. Jesus said, no man cometh unto the Father except through me. And we sing an old hymn sometimes Jesus is the way to God. Jesus is the way to bliss. In this way, the saints have trod down from Adam's day to this. He is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other foundation. There is no other standing ground on which we can rest our hope only in and through the Lord Jesus Christ. And so, at this evening hour, I pray that we might meditate, that we might think, that we might set our affection on things above and not on the things of the earth. Jesus is the way to God. Jesus is indeed the way to life. And so I pray that our meditation of him will be sweet that we might be able to comprehend with all saints something of the length and breadth and depth and height, that we might know the love of Christ that passeth knowledge and be filled with all the fullness of God. We sing sometimes, it passeth knowledge that dear love of thine, my Jesus, my Saviour. And so, at this evening hour, I pray that you will have had a good day and that you will have a good night and a good week and that during these coming days and hours we may know more and more 
of the love of Jesus shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. One could say this, happy if with my latest breath I may but gasp his name, preach him to all, and cry in death, behold, behold the Lamb. Well, may the Lord help us, help me, and help us each to be living witnesses, living epistles, known and read of all men. Well, the Lord bless you. I'll just have a word of prayer. Lord, help us to shine for Jesus every day that others may see and take knowledge of us that we have been with Jesus and learned of him. Amen.